Nut brown ales are what we're going to talk about today. E aí, gente? Bed por aqui. Today, we're going to talk about nut brown ales. But first, thank you so much to my subscribers. I really appreciate your support. If this is your second video watching, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if this is your first time here, welcome. I hope you find my content both interesting and informative. A nut brown should have a floral, caramel, malty aroma, and the flavor should be nutty, floral, and sweet. And as the name suggests, it should be brownish, should retain its, uh, retain its head pretty well. And let's see how Sam Smith did here. And again, it's an ale, so it's a top fermenting, uh, very nice, almost a uh, amber color. You can see the uh, head is very brown and uh, noticeable. I actually catch some uh, nutty notes on the on the nose. Very malty and sweet, that, that caramel aroma. And it is it is floral, so we have pretty good style on the nose. It's got a very faint floral flavor on it. There's a little bit of bitterness on it that I wasn't expecting, uh, but it is still quite sweet. The bitterness kind of balances that out, uh, but it's it's really good. The nuttiness also very, very subtle, which is, uh, which is good. Nut brown is not my favorite style, but uh, at the 307 Brewery, we, uh, we did brew one nut brown ale. The idea that we used the nut brown ale was to attempt to brew the most alcoholic beer we could. Now, I would like to tell you what it measured at, but that was the batch that I broke my hydrometer in the beginning and I wasn't able to uh, get a finishing gravity or a uh, starting gravity and uh, I hadn't picked one up until after we had already bottled, so I also didn't have a finishing gravity. The Nut Brown is one of the few beers that can support a high alcohol content before it disrupts the balance of the beer. Uh, Triple Bock is another one, but it is a little bit sweet for me. It's difficult to drink more than about two to three ounces at a sitting. It's kind of thick like soy sauce. Then there's the Trippel. It really only supports about a 10% alcohol before it starts to become overpowering. And of course, you can use an IPA, which has the bitterness to offset the uh, high alcohol content. I haven't seen much over 12%, but uh, I imagine that Stone Brewery, if you take on that kind of uh, bitterness, it will support a very high alcohol content. Now, I don't know what the al actual alcohol content was. I can describe the uh, flavor, which was like pancakes and molasses. It did have uh, some molasses. We used some yeast boost, uh, some yeast nutrients, well, quite a bit of yeast nutrients and boost, uh, about two to three times the amount of malt that we normally would for, uh, for the style. Uh, and I don't, again, know exactly how alcoholic it was, but I do know after drinking one 12 ounce bottle, I had to walk two miles home. Not a very far distance, but even after I got home, it was uh, fairly late at night, and uh, the first question my wife asked me was, how much have you had to drink? And I said, one. And she just shook her head and said, you know you don't have to lie to me. And I uh, responded that uh, no, in fact, I did only drink one. The winner of the Black Beauty Capper that we used at the 307 Brewery is Andrea Angel. I'll be contacting you shortly to find out how to receive that. Thank you so much, and until next time, remember, the best brew is a home brew. Today, we're going to have a taste test of a uh, Sam Smith uh, Nut Brown Ale. I'm going to tell you a story about uh, Nut Brown Ale that I brew. Key. Today, we're going to have a taste test of a uh, Sam Smith Nut Brown Ale. I'm going to tell you a little bit about uh, Nut Brown Ale that I brewed, why I chose uh, Nut Brown, and 
about today. Yay, yeah, gente! Bed Buraki! Today, we're going to talk about nut brown ales. First, I'd like to thank all of my subscribers. Thank you so much for your support. If this is your first time here, I hope you find this informative and educational. Yeah. The style of a nut brown should have a floral aroma and moderate floral uh, flavor, but it should also uh, have a caramel sweetness to it, both on the palate and on the nose. Um, Nuttiness. Nuttiness. A nut brown should have a floral, 